After they were first introduced in the 1940s, they were so controversial they were banned in Spain, Portugal and Italy. But today, bikinis are an everyday sight on beaches all over the world. Here's how they're made. First, a designer sketches out her idea. Then, it's modeled on a computer. Before they make a prototype, they have to test some fabrics to check their color fast. The bikinis are going to be exposed to strong sunlight, so they blast the fabrics with UV rays to see if they're up to the job. Then, they give them a good soaking to see how they react to water. But they're going to have to cope with chemicals too. They submerge the samples in chlorine to see if they can handle a few lengths in the pool. And then in a salty solution to replicate a dip in the sea. They're left in for an hour at a tropical 27 and a half degrees Celsius. Once the tests are complete, they compare the samples to see how they've performed. Inevitably, some have fared better than others. Maybe the most important thing to test is the fastener. To keep a lady's modesty intact, it needs to withstand 14 kilos of pressure before snapping open. Once they've selected the fabric and checked the fastener, they can make a prototype. It may look fairly fantastic to an untrained eye, but the designers are perfectionists and make a few alterations to improve the shape. Don't bother sending in your CVs. This is a job for experienced tailors only. The pattern is plotted onto a computer and then they print out a template. On each sheet there are 30 bikinis in five different sizes. Before they cut the fabric, they check it for flaws. This woman marks all the nicks and tears on the roll so that they can be cut out later on. But if there are more than 15 flaws, they'll send the roll back to the producer. The template is put on top of 15 layers of the fabric, and then a vacuum sucks it into position. A computer-guided cutter carves out 450 bikinis in one go. Bikini is given its characteristic shape in another department. The two moulds are heated and the fabric is stretched over them. When the cups cool, they'll be able to take a spin in the washing machine and tumble dryer without losing their shape. In the sewing hall, 120 workers stitch together the pieces of fabric. Once the top is done, they add some padding. This gives the bikini a flattering shape and makes it more comfortable to wear. To help make sure everything stays where it's supposed to, they put in an underwire. A fastener is attached with a few stitches and the top is complete. 
It's hooked onto a hanger with the bikini bottoms and it's ready to head off to a swimwear department. All it needs now is a gorgeous body and it'll be wowing beachgoers from Costa Rica to the Costa Brava.